Welcome to the Palace of Versailles, a masterpiece of 17th century French art, first listed as UNESCO World Cultural Heritage 30 years ago. Its wealth of works and decor reflects the taste and splendor of the kings who lived here and fashioned it over the course of 300 years. Today, the palace opens its doors to you for a unique virtual visit of the most emblematic locations. You have the museum to yourself. You are free to explore it from dawn till dusk according to your interests and desires. Let yourself be blown away by the Royal Chapel, the sacred architectural gem that King Louis XIV desired. Walk along the marble-paved statue gallery on the first floor of the palace. Discover the Royal Opera House, one of the finest stages in Europe which still plays host to operas, concerts and ballets. Admire the Hall of Mirrors, the unique backdrop to grand court parties with its 357 mirrors reflecting the gardens, symbolic of the skills of French craftsmen at the time. Its painted ceiling illustrates Louis XIV's greatest exploits. Enter the King's State Apartments, dedicated to the glory of the monarch, and the Queen's State Apartments, which preserve the memory of the three queens who lived here. Draw up close and handle these works, which bear testimony to the talents of the greatest artists of bygone centuries, with over a hundred paintings, artifacts, and sculptures that will reveal their history, meaning, and secrets to you. This virtual experience will allow you to discover the beauty of the Sun King's Palace differently. To begin, teleport yourself by clicking in the white area next to you. To do so, you just need to hold the trigger button on your controller down in order to aim properly, then let it go. A small magnifying glass symbol means an object is interactive. Line the console up in front of you and press the trigger button on your right-hand controller to select it and view it more closely. Immersive mode allows you to examine objects in the room you are in more closely and from all... You can use your left-hand controller to access a presentation on the work. Seen enough and want to move on to another work? You can exit immersive mode at any time by aiming away from the object and pressing on the right hand trigger button. The tutorial is coming to an end. You can watch it again at any time by calling up the menu using your left hand controller. To start the visit, teleport yourself directly to another room in the palace. You can do so by using your right-hand controller to aim at the map attached to your left-hand controller. The tutorial is now finished, and you are free to start your visit of the palace. Happy exploring! The upper statue gallery led to the prince's apartments, which no longer exist. Around the edge of the gallery are statues of great men from the Middle Ages, the Renaissance, and the 17th century.
the foyer of the Royal Opera House when Louis XIV took up residence in Versailles in 1682, he planned to build a Royal Opera House. But wars and financial problems meant that the project only came to fruition under Louis XV. The building was inaugurated in 1770 for the marriage of the Dauphin, the future Louis XVI, to Marie Antoinette. It was designed to fulfill three functions, that of a concert hall, ballroom, and banquet hall. The foyer of the Royal Opera House was the meeting The foyer of the Royal Opera House was the meeting The foyer The upper statue gallery led to the princes The foyer of the Royal Opera House was the meeting place The first room in the Museum of the History of France, commissioned by Louis-Philippe and inaugurated in 1837, the coronation. 